Hello and welcome to the channel, it's me Chris Brooks. I just wanted to share some information with you that Thetford Town Council on their last council meeting where they walked out for the second time, well after the people had left they carried on recording their meeting, they declared a they declared a um, climate crisis here in Thetford. <sighs> Getting bloody hot in here. Anyway, there was a bit of a backlash and Bob Says had written to the council asking as a freedom of information request what evidence have they based that decision on, bearing in mind that there was no public debate on this and they've just gone ahead and declared it. So we're just going to go through a little bit of the correspondence of what Bob said and what their reply was, so enjoy. My question to Hazel McCambridge. Good afternoon. I was at the council meeting last week. I listened to your announcement re a climate emergency. Would you be so gracious to answer a few questions for me? 1. On the 27th of February, 2024, Thetford Town Council declared a climate emergency. What is the council's definition of a climate emergency? 2. Please disclose the evidence, data, correspondence or other documents in support of the council's decision to declare a climate emergency. 3. Please disclose a list of policies that have been introduced as a consequence of the climate emergency. 4. Please disclose a list of strategic to climate emergency partners. 5. Please disclose a list of the strategic partners of Thetford Town Council with respect to the climate crisis. I await your responses. Yours faithfully. So, do you think the request was answered? Let's have a look, shall we? Dear sir, Freedom of Information Request your email to Councillor Hazel McCambridge requests information and therefore has been forwarded to me. My role as the proper officer is to deal with all freedom of information requests. The council received a paper which is in the public domain and based their decision to make a declaration based on that paper. I have attached it to this response. There is no other information that was considered before or at the meeting where council made its declaration. As the climate and ecological emergency was only declared on the February 27, 2024, the Council will not have had the opportunity to develop and approve any policies. There is a statement of intent which is tabled at the Council meeting concerned and this will inform future policy development as and when it occurs. This will be set out in meeting agendas and minutes. The Council does not have any strategic partnerships for the same reason it does not have policies. It should be noted that national local council representatives bodies, such as the National Association of Local Councils often make reference to a climate emergency in the literature that they distribute emphasizing the need for local and parish councils to change their practices and ways of operating. As I have provided you with the information that you have requested, I have assumed that your freedom of information request has been addressed. Please let me know if you require any additional information. Yours faithfully. Alan York, Acting Town Clerk. So the next letter is a letter from the Thetford Town Councillor, who is also a district town councillor, or I think it's district, and her name is Hazel McCambridge, and this is what she had to say. Item 715.23, Declaration of a Climate and Ecological Emergency Background. The world is in crisis and Thetford Town Council has a responsibility to take action and mitigate risk wherever possible for the current and future residents of Thetford. We are already seeing the impacts of climate change not just around the world, but in our own town. Extreme weather events prove a serious risk, with prolonged heavy rain causing flooding, soaring summer temperatures in 2019 caused the loss of local wheat crops. In 2022 temperatures reached 40 degrees and last year was the hottest on record. Along with these changes in climate, biodiversity loss is further exacerbating this. The UN says that biodiversity is our strongest defence against the climate crisis and we have lost 70% of Britain's biodiversity in the last 50 years. By declaring a climate and ecological emergency, Thetford Town Council gives an official recognition of the urgent need to address and mitigate the impacts of climate change and to play our part in improving biodiversity at a local level. Oh, mind the ice! We are already working to make improvements and by making this declaration, we are putting climate and biodiversity at the heart of the choices we make. It is the action that we take following this declaration that will protect our communities and help our town to flourish, even in the face of these crises. 
That is why, if this council does vote in favour of declaring a climate and ecological emergency, it is proposed that we also produce a climate action plan and ensure all of the council's processes are in line with this declaration. An example of a climate action plan from Friends of the Earth is attached. This can be amended to reflect Thetford Town Council's opportunities. There is the potential for a wider community consultation event when forming an action plan that works for the council. Yeah, and I bet that um, meeting where people can have their say will be, I would guess my right testicle, that it will be during work hours when people are at work and they can't make these things. Because that's, that's how the council tends to get people involved when people aren't actually able to get involved. That's good method. Recommendation to full council to consider declaring a climate and ecological emergency, and if agreed to consider the following a monthly agenda item to produce and review the implementation of a climate action plan as part of amenities committee work program, for all council meetings and committees to consider carbon and ecological impacts for decisions made where deemed relevant, reallocate the remaining balance of the Guildhall Heating Project Fund to provide a climate action plan. Implementation budget, £50,000 was set aside for the Guildhall Heating Project but the final cost will be less than £20,000. That means approximately £30,000 to be made available, prepared by Councillor Hazel McCambridge. Yeah. So there you have it. Bob wrote in a Freedom of Information request to the councils urging them to furnish evidence supporting their decisions. However, in true council fashion, they served up a convoluted dish of incomprehensible verbiage devoid of any substantiating evidence. This, ladies and gentlemen, epitomises the entrapment one subjects themselves to by relinquishing jurisdiction, merely to endorse these individuals through voting. These entities do not operate in your best interests. The council, along with all the other similar entities, prioritise their own agendas and intertwined with their extensively corrupted allies in higher places. Don't vote.